actually love the sound of the train, but my window won't roll down. You guys might think I'm funny or weird. I actually love that sound. That sound of the train rolling through. The trains are so big. As fast as this one's moving, looking at it from the right angle, it's actually kind of scary. so fast. Well, I'm not exactly sure what happened. Um, I've actually had this problem before where suddenly everything just goes haywire. Never happened on my uh, GXP, but it happened on my Comp G a couple times. And it was related to one of the rear wheels locking up after I had it, uh, after I had the parking brake on. But I was just driving down normally and all of a sudden I saw the traction control was turned off and I just thought I bumped the uh, switch because I always uh, keep my hand down here in this area, but then everything else started service this, service that. Um, I had to bleep out the audio because I was listening to the radio and I don't want YouTube to, to hit me with a copyright thing. But um, So yeah, it uh, started going crazy. Um, I guess we'll see on my drive home if it does the same thing. Actually, that was kind of crazy. I'm thinking, this is just a guess, I'm thinking that uh, when I was uh, turning, one of the rear wheels just uh, just got locked up. I mean, there's a lot of snow, there's a lot of ice, there's a lot of things going on. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to stop at the car wash on my way home and uh, hand wash this down, the wheels and everything, as good as I possibly can, and then uh, see if that fixes the problem. But yeah, that was kind of weird. Um, if it continues to be a problem, well, I can take it to the dealer and uh, they'll fix it. If it's related to that wheel bearing, the two front wheel bearings that they replaced, they gotta replace them again. It won't cost me a dime.
Well, it's to the car wash because of that problem that I had. We'll see if the change machine works. I only have dollars. I swear to God, 90% of the time I come here, the change machine doesn't work. It's like they never service it. So we'll see what happens. That was a much needed wash. Oh man. Got a lot of the, the ice off. It's cold enough to freeze this water, so I gotta make sure I get all the windows. I should have brought a chamois to dry it with, but I guess I'm not too concerned about it. It's definitely uh, a lot better than it was, that's for sure. I love coming here to these car washes, to these uh, self washes, uh, on Sundays because nobody's around. You try to do it on a weekday, at least around here, and you got businesses all over washing their trucks, and and uh, you know the uh, uh, the auto repair shops. In fact, the body shop that I've taken my car to several times uses that wash so Monday through Friday you know it's not just people washing their own cars it's businesses washing their business trucks and things like that so it's uh, <laughs> really uh, the brakes are always real mushy after getting them washed <clears throat> Should 
probably take the highway home because I don't want all this water to freeze on my car. And it's below freezing right now. Probably take it down business 69 real quick. Get her up to about 62, 63. That should uh, blow away a lot of the water. not really quite sure what the problem was this morning hopefully it has resolved itself my guess and this is just a guess my guess is that as I was turning one of the rear wheels probably just ended up losing traction right away and uh, that caused it because I know that freezing bearings locked up wheels will cause that the the ABS sensor picks that up as a wheel lock and uh, when you haven't applied the brakes, it assumes that something uh, wrong is happening. So my guess is that uh, that's all it was. Again, I can't be for 100% certain, 